they toughened us for war. In the high school auditorium, Ed Mahana knocked out Dominic Esposito in the first round of the heavyweight finals, and 10 months later, Dom died in the third wave at Tarawa. Every morning of the war, our Brock Hall dairy delivered milk from horse-drawn wagons to wooden back porches in southern Connecticut. In winter, frozen cream lifted the cardboard lids of glass bottles, grade A or grade B, while Marines bled to death in the surf, or the right engine faltered into channel silt, or troops marched. What could we do? With frostbitten feet, as wide as milk. The title, 1943 is usually labeled as one of the years of World War II, so we can guess that this poem will be about World War II. The speakers of the poem are the people in America during the war, which is shown from What Could We Do? The poem starts with talking about a high schooler named Dom who was in the heavyweight finals for his school, and then 10 months later, he died in war. Next, it talks about how milk is being delivered in America during the war as normal. And in the war, they're getting frostbite at the same time. And then it ends with the people of America asking what could they have done to help with the war. The tone of the poem is kind of nonchalant as it's simply just stating the facts of whatever's happening in the poem. Like when Dom died, it wasn't really sad. The author just stated that he died. And then when it says that the Marines bled to death in the surf, it's also just stating it. There's no real emotion. So overall, the tone is just nonchalant. The theme of the poem is that war has little solutions. In the poem, it brings up a lot of problems that happened in World War II, like young people being drafted to the war and dying, or terrible conditions such as frostbite. And while there are all those problems in the war, nothing's really happening back at home. The milk's being delivered normally. And at the end, it says, what could we do? That's the people of America asking if there is a solution at all to the war. Because there's so many problems, but there's so little solutions that they have to make it better for everybody.